Electronic Throttle Motor Wire Identification Identifying the modern electronic throttle actuator motor wire is the first step in testing these units. But before going into the short process of identifying the two wires for the motor without a wiring diagram, we should mention the following. Identifying the motor wires is fairly straightforward. But identifying the dual or triple TPS wires is not. Electronic throttle actuators have two or three internal throttle position sensors. Here is the internals of what the dual TPS looks like. As you can see you would have to disassemble the electronic throttle unit. And that's not always possible. Some of these units are crimped sealed and cannot be opened. Seen here is also the blue voltage simulator, which is needed to be able to test sensors. It produces the ground and 5 volt reference needed for testing. Otherwise, you would have to use the ECM own internal 5 volt, and that's not a good idea. First, we use a dedicated electronic throttle connector and get it ready. If a connector is not available, we need to make ourselves some testing wire and pins to reach the electronic throttle connector. Then we take out the trusted multimeter and set it to measure resistance reading. Do not set it to continuity. The main point to remember is that when identifying the electronic throttle motor wires or terminals, the resistance will be below 10 ohms. So expect very low resistance. Here we can see what you should see when the motor wires are tested with the oil meter. This procedure is a mute point if you have the wiring diagram, but oftentimes, you just need to actuate the electronic throttle to do a cleaning, and run the electronic throttle TPS though the adaptive memory reset process if applicable. Most electronic throttle units today self-adjust. So there we have it, how to easily identify the electronic throttle motor wires for testing with the electro throttle, and blue voltage simulator, enjoy.